big explosion uh, was heard and then outcoming fire causing the Kenyan forces who were in the car park area and the inside uh, of the shopping complex probably 20 or 30 of them came running out so there's definitely fire uh, coming at them and then everyone in the road that you can see behind me and around uh, took cover there was sustained uh, automatic fire then followed by uh, single shots which we would believe with the Kenyan military returning uh, fire um, our personnel carriers then uh, repositioned and remaneuvered out of the uh, complex building but then have moved back in with soldiers following behind we there was some confusion there often is in these type of incidents exactly what had happened we know that the explosion took place followed by the gunfire it now seems uh, that the Kenyan military have uh, either attempted to or have breached through the roof uh, of the uh, complex uh, which is the smoke that you can see one assumes from that that if they're going in this operation is underway to try to get uh, to the hostages but I have to say although then they're not that far away. I would expect to hear uh, sustained firing or at least uh, blast grenades and the like as they try to move in. But of course, it is a big complex. It might be in an area that we just can't uh, hear. Um, we had known um, that uh, the group, the uh, Al Shabaab fighters, uh, had been in, certainly in one area that was clearly identified, but we're, we weren't sure if there were other areas. And we're still not clear if that is the case. It would explain why this operation is taking uh, quite a long time to move through.